And then let's join a league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of play points. Huh? Out of play points. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should just start playing tier one decks. You know what? It was submitted three days ago, I think. Maybe two days ago. Oh my gosh, was it an April Fool's deck? I hope not. I felt like it. Even when I was looking at it, I was like, hmm, this seems a little weird. Not sure what we're doing here. That was four days ago. It's the fourth. It's the third. Oh. Hmm, maybe you put it out at like 11.59. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't seem like they were like joking. Like it's not even like a great joke if that was a joke. Like I feel like we need more games with it to actually give it like solid feedback. No. All right. So how are you gonna do this draft? However you want, man. You're the drafter. No, we're the same drafters. You gotta go look this one. Yeah. yeah. I'm always a fan of combo. That's my thing. Combo? Ish. Value? There's Exhum. That seems solid. There's some solid uh, ramp action here with Grim Monolith. So how about we do... You pick card first, and then I'll pick the next card. <laughs> what? That's what we'll do. Actually, the, well, the most powerful card in this, li in this is probably Sylvan Library. Is what? Sylvan Library. Sylvan Library? That's probably the most powerful card in this. We're or take... Grim... Done. Damn! Done. It's done. I was going to say, Grim Lovemans is just as powerful, too. Wait, what? Why? Oh, I don't want to play Burn. Grim, it's a two-mana artifact that taps for three mana? Oh, Grim Monolith. Yeah. Yeah, that's the card I was going to take. Oh. I, well, I was still talking. You was like, oh! Okay. Look, <laughs> it's great. Sneak attack. We're going combo. <laughs> See, right. but we could have went sad robot in Grim, which we still would have been colorless. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Sweetie well, would have also picked library. All right, so my choice here would be sneak attack, but that's like my favorite card of all time. Pick it. You pick. I pick. You pick. I pick. We'll okay, go we'll go back and forth. Now that we're invested in two colors already. All right, I I I, I picked those twice. It's on you next. No, no, I picked Seven Library. Oh, I mean, okay. I, I probably would have picked Seven Library too. Okay, then never mind. It's on you. I mean, I wouldn't have, but okay. <laughs> you have the next two picks, then. No, I'll pick the next one. I'm fine with. I like Seven Library. Actually, I like Sneak Attack. When you get Sneak Attack this early, it's really, really good. Yeah. Usually, when I get Sneak Attack, it's like third pack, like fourth pick, and I'm like, man, I was trying How to add this layer. Like, or... Wouldn't you take it right away? Not when you're like when you're a third third pack. I guess some people aren't really. Hmm. Hmm. Don't we just go show and tell? Uh, show and tell would be the card that I would lean to here because it allows us to. We're in three colors, but we can drop one of them pretty. Let's uh, go show and tell. Okay. It's because there's nothing else we're playing here. What are we really doing? I mean, let's go five colors. <laughs> that is your specialty. What are we doing here? If anyone doesn't know and has not drafted with me in real life, uh, Reese here will draft five color in any cube we play. Does not matter. Draft all the best cards and still play cards like Vidalkin Shackles. It's not an issue for him. See, then we get good lands like uh, Canal. I mean, what else are we really... I mean, the Rick's guy is pretty good because he lets us discard big creatures. Mm -hmm. Or stuff we don't need to draw other creatures. Mm -hmm. That guy's pretty decent. Ponder's pretty good. But you know me, I'm a lands person. I would take the land. It's your pick. I would take the land. Alright, so this is my pick. Yep. Uh, my thought is on Infernal Time here. Absolutely. Okay. 100%. Straight up hit you for 12. It's because he cheats? I don't know if he cheats. He does seem to pick lands pretty high, and everyone ignores it. And then he can play those colors that are completely not splashable, yep. but because he has all the lands. Like I would have picked that. I would have picked that land there instead of Infernal Titan. <laughs> <laughs> You're ridiculous. Um, that guy's pretty good. Whose pick is it? Um, it's mine. Okay. So you want the Green Warden? Um. 
Yeah. Sure. That. Yep. Because the other card would be like this one, right? That's like not an unreasonable thing. Well, to we have. get two big guys back with this, so we get to immediately play him, get a big guy back. Okay. And then play the big guy that we just got back to. Well, the the, uh, the red creature though lets us sift through right. I can actually find them though. We don't care about that. We'll just we'll just stock up on them. Okay. <laughs> Because, you know, we can also, like, get to the show and tell That's what we got to sit in the library for. To but we, we, that's another way to sift through the deck. That's a bad one. It's discard a card, draw a card. Yeah, it's... But we have to pay one man. Okay. Uh, it's my pick? Yep. Um, Ionia seems pretty good. Drop it and lock them out of the game, right? What do you think? It's your pick. I know. Oh, me? No. I, I'm I trying to like get feedback. I, li I like the Ionia and Show and Tell. It's very good, but... But with Sneak Attack, it's terrible. Yes, 100%. Um, I mean, it's seven damage in the air. <laughs> yeah. Like, I also like Chupacabra because it's fun with Sneak Attack because you can just take things out for value, but mm -hmm. it's another color. I mean, we don't have to... No, we don't have to play Sit in the Library. Remember that. So we're technically not in green yet. Right. You might want to pick something, though. Oh. Looks like we got an Ionia. Yeah, that works out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you want? Um, I mean, you already know what I want. Mana confluence. Yeah. Since, especially since we don't know technically where we're in yet. Um. See, now here we have some very questionable options because we can either go with Exhum and start getting those discard cards that we saw earlier. If we don't think that they're, if we think they're. I was thinking table. P and K uh, Kieran. That seemed value. But I'm also good with that zoom. We got ten seconds. Just it's your pick. This one's true. Cause like if those discard cards that we saw earlier come back, like the Rick Sky, um, the other flame whatever mm -hmm. guy, I don't know what guy, I don't know what he's name. Yeah, then we'd be able to start getting uh Yeah, then we we'll have yeah, then we'll have sneak attack and uh Sneak Attack, show and tell and exhum. Yeah, and like Graveyard first. Okay. Your pick. What does that guy do? Search your mm -hmm. library for inst no the two mm -hmm. for cost two. It's an inst it has to be an instant or sorcery. Mm -hmm. For two. Mm -hmm. I'll probably just go with the flagship. Flagship? Yeah. Not the one. It's a white. No, oh, okay. I had that word in that color. Um this seems bad for sneak attack, but it seems great for show and tell. Yeah. And if we go end up going the graveyard plan, so. See, there's a Rix guy. Okay. So either Rix or Ponder. It's on you, I think. Um. Fuck. I don't want to make this decision. I'm reserving this one just in case. Hmm. Yeah, let's go through. The down, the upside to the Rix is that we're more in red right now. Yeah. It's on me. Yep. Might as well, yep, discard guy. See, bro, we could have took the exhum, and we would have had... What did no, we take instead? Nobody ever expects the mana tithe, then they get blown out by it. Um, I'm leaning towards Bogart and Hellkite. It seems great in show and tell and, and sneak attack. Seems good. Alright, that's my pick, it's on you now. Did you see Preodane in that pack, bro? No. <laughs> <laughs> I am drawn to very specific things when it comes to drafting, okay? Did you see that Preodane? I'm a terrible drafter, if anyone's ever been curious. It's on you. Um, Let's see what we have here. Man, there's so many good cards in this pack. I guess mean, maybe they're not good, I just like playing with them. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are some of the good cards here? I love nimble obstructus in this in in the cube because there's so many planeswalkers. Oh, okay. So people all they yeah. blow them out. Mm -hmm. so, what are some of the other ones? The lands, obviously. Obviously, I like the lands. Um, I, I love Oracle Modaya. Yeah. Um, I don't think we're in green enough, really. That's what that. I was. That's what I was just wondering. If if we're still staying in green or not? Like I feel like we should because Sylvan Library is pretty strong, but. In the in the big guy at the end. Yeah, like we can go green red and just splash the blue. Yeah, let's Pretty go. Easily. Let's go Oracle. I like I love Oracle. It's so good. Alrighty. 
Oh my god, there's anime there. <laughs> We're not going that way. I know, but it's all good. Oh, um, I, f- I want to take Jace to draw this card to get to the show and tell us. That is to get pretty there. good. Yeah. Oh, we should take the Rage and Ravine. We can. I haven't taken it yet. Yeah, let's take the Rage and Ravine. I'm big on making sure we can cast our shit. Yeah. Um, Terracidon. Pretty I easily like here. Yeah. Or it's Hydro Carasses. The That's... best card in the cubes in here. It's, it's Relic? What? <laughs> what is the best card in the cube here? Mystic Complex. Oh, that card's me? so good. I love that card. Card does everything I wanted to do. If you see a world gorger, you're gonna blow up. You're gonna lose your mind. <laughs> Is that gold? That was the last card we took. What? Was it? Was it gold? I think it's because you clicked on it. No. Is there a gold border of that card? I think it's the last card we got. I don't think that's what I think it's just a bug. Well, we'll see. <laughs> well, this is an obviously pig. I recall. Yeah. That's what we we're looking for. Now the only other one we need is the G brand. Like Nahiri is another terrible way to go about it. I feel like Kodama's Reach would give us the ramp, and then I think we just go to Misty. Misty's just solid land. Yeah. So. Bloodstain's another solid land in one of our colors, at least. Yeah, I like Bloodstain. Either, yeah, because we're not playing, we're, we don't know if we're playing black yet. Yeah, because otherwise Siege Gang is like, I don't think that's where we really want to be. I hate that card. Okay. <laughs> Are we in blue? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we're pretty good in green red right now. We want to set up for that, right? Um... Hmm. I mean, technically, we can just play John because that's what it looks like. We could just play John. But the show and tell is so strong. I know. It's like the stuff we have, we're just like, I don't know, we could use. Oh, quick, four seconds. Just pick. Yeah, you're on the red card, right? Just take that one. I don't know what that is. You shouldn't have a ta bad time explaining the stack to commander players. I feel like commander players should be some of the best, like, players that understand the game, right? Like, it is a super complicated format with all the stuff that are in uh, involved with it. So, if you can't understand the stack, like, how are you even playing EDH? That's not true. Because when I started playing EDH, I didn't understand, like... Because you have to remember, a lot of those cards that I played in EDH are really old. So most people that play Magic are start playing Magic from what's currently in Standard. Mm. And a lot of cards in Standard are pretty simple to figure out. We got two uh, two lanes in our colors here. Yeah, Rootbound Crab. Yeah. Because we know 100% we're in green and red. We don't know if we're going to play black yet. And Reese, Reese does have a point, though. I don't know. I, I guess I didn't start playing Magic. I mean, didn't start playing EDH until I had already played quite a number of years of magic to have a better understanding of the rule and i think at that point i was even a level one judge yeah because i mean we, when i came in i i started in rise of a drowsy so i played nothing before that i didn't play at the time modern wasn't even there it was mm -hmm. what was extended yeah they created extended so i didn't, yeah, so I didn't play extended so i didn't know very it was only in standard is basically what i played so if i didn't see anything that wasn't in standard i didn't know about a lot of like a lot of stuff yeah. that you could do like and stuff like that. So. And that's fair. And, like I started uh, very differently, and I think uh, how a lot of people do start the game is um, take the Bayou. Um, I started playing like kitchen table magic, where we played with these old cards that were bad, but in our little microcosm. So you play bad magic, huh? You play bad magic. I did play bad magic. <laughs> like you, you know, like some of my first decks was like terrible combo decks, and it was fun. Like. Um, I played a green 
blue deck that had so like there was an infinite mana common there involved with uh, any elf that generated more than one uh, color mana um, normally I, I forget the name of this but it, it generates mana equal to the amount of elves you have Corsair or the Jace either one doesn't matter we're not really in blue though Um, so there was an elf combo with, like, if you have more than one elf in play, you can tap this elf and it, you can generate X mana equal to the amount of elves you have in any color. And then I played Pemmin's Aura, which was like one blue, two colorless enchantment, and it allowed the creature to pay one blue to untap it. So you have those two in play generate infinite mana, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then you can just go off with the infinite mana and do anything you want. And then the other thing I also did with it is I also played Freed from the Real, which lets you pay one blue to untap or untap a creature. Um, what do you want? Searing Spear or Relic? Just like Relic. Um, and then you would use it on any of like those tap, do one damage or something. So I would put a, a Freed from the Real or a Penance or on them as well, do infinite mana, and then infinitely shoot everything. How long does this combo take to assemble? It's four cards. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but you. <laughs> Blood Braille? Dread uh, Return. I mean, I, I love me a blood braid, but what are we gonna blood braid into? I can't even see anything. You might want to just pick. It was called blood braid, bro. Stop. Is that a really good choice? Um, the other really bad combo that I played was something that we saw one tournament play, which was the Haken combo or the Haken combo, the the uh, undead knight, and it allows uh, you to cast knights from the graveyard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I played it with Ashes of the Fallen, which uh, was an artifact, and it allowed you to turn name a creature type, and all your creatures are also that creature type, including the ones in the graveyard. What do you want here? I mean, here you go. I'm not going to play the other card. Um, and then you could recast anything from the graveyard. So I would just play, like, a really high-value black-white deck that I can just recur everything. You know people were playing that on in Modern? Yeah, they were playing it with Life of the Lone, mm -hmm. and then because you could get back Knight of Reliquary and a couple other. And you can also use um, it's the black uh, change like plus three minus three. I didn't really see too much of the deck. I thought it was kind of cool though. But yeah, um, I know they were playing in the Abzan show. And yeah, they're they, playing, playing the regular Abzan cards. So yeah. you can play the Nameless Inversion. That's the name of it. It gives a creature. It's one black, one colorless. Um, it gives a plus three minus three, and it's a changeling. So you can just keep casting it from your graveyard to hit a creature, and uh, or you could play Crib Swap, which was one white, two colorless, and it's also a changeling, and you get to exile any creature, and then they get a one one changeling in place of it. Mm. So like. That was actually pretty sweet. I, I wouldn't mind uh, playing a version of that because I just really love Life from the Loam. Like I, I'm actually surprised I didn't have yet to play like a relevant deck with that. Because there's no relevant deck. Not really. <laughs> I mean, it's not like you know, dredge is a strange, thing or anything. Hey, Team J, bro. Thanks for joining me. Um, your first deck was a Geo Surge Fetch Seven Mountains out of your deck. <laughs> That's sweet. Um, what are you thinking here? He said, are you good at cube? Are, am I good at cube? I have Reese here who's good at cube. I draft terrible decks and play them. He plays a lot of cube and has fun with it. And, uh, but I just, wins just draft stuff it. that I like. Yeah. So, what are you thinking here? I like Nissa over Threat Test. Okay. Which one are you, would you prefer? I like Threat Test. Okay. Because, uh, I don't... The, the, that, yeah, that Nissa taps on Taps Lands. We're not going to be playing... That really is useless. What advice would he have as far as playing the cube or just drafting in general? So we're definitely taking what you call through the reach. Yep. What are you thinking here? Power stone or search? I was thinking search. Let us do some mana fixing here. Yeah. So usually when I draft, if it depends on. I guess if you really want to win, like if you want to win a lot in draft, I found the most success in drafting is actually control decks. 
Because most people usually... A lot of people draft, like, just because they are playing a cube, they are going to just go for the crazy combo decks. Um, and then control is going to allow for you to just stop them in their tracks, and then you just have to land a threat yeah. and take them out. So that's a really strong way to go about it. Um, something that I, when I do just want to win a draft, like, mono red is pretty much, like, a, a lot of times just a surefire win. Unless they're comboing off, like, turn two, turn three kind of thing, you should be just fine to just burn through them. No, this is the legacy cube, yeah. so you have to be careful when you draft mono red. Okay. Because if you only draft mono red, if you get the important cards in the first packs. Because if you don't see those cards, you the, can, then you can't. your mono red deck is not very good okay. in this format. Yeah, you have to get like, I think it's like something, it's a three drop enchantment. It's like Vortex. Yeah. If you get something like that in Goblin Guide, and like in your early, and you see it like those, then I would draft mono red if you want to win. Yeah. But if you don't get those... Sometimes you don't even see those in those ma like I think I've I've only seen I've probably drafted in the last week I've probably drafted maybe 10 15 times and I've only seen the vortex maybe like two or three times. Okay. So uh but the well let me know what you want to pick here. I think the biggest thing that you want to remember when you are cubing is that you're pro you're probably just cubing for fun not you're not like taking it you shouldn't take it as a serious draft in my opinion. Like I own like four cubes. And when we play with my friends, we have everybody come over and just play the game. Um, we're just having a great time. We're playing stupid decks, playing in interesting combinations. Like, that's what I'm looking for when I'm going to cube. I am not looking to just straight up win. So if I get to do, like, a mana tithe on a car, uh, against someone that Karn, because we actually had that happen. Someone comboed out, generated tons of mana, cast Karn on turn two, and then they're like, okay, mana tithe. <laughs> <laughs> and so the opponent blew everything on that Karn, thinking they just won the game. And the opponent's like, got you. Mana Tithe. Get 10 seconds. Fatal Push would be a pretty relevant removal spell here. I like the 5 drop. The 5 drop? The oh, red. Devastation? It's like a more white. Okay. They're confident, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, Dragon Lord? If we want another threat that we can... I'm pretty sure we just go Dragon Lord. It clears the board. We can go Dark Confident if we want to lose. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hazret's not bad. Pretty strong creature. So is Brain Maggot. We're more in green-red, though, than anything else right now. So I feel like Hazret or Pelucranos is the way Are we go. trying to play the black cards? Because, I mean, we only have two. Or, yeah, we only have two. I don't think we're going to play some. No, I think, I think we're just in green-red value here. And possibly splashing for the show-and-tell. That's it. So that's why I'm leaning towards the Hazard or the Pelucranos. I'm fine with either one. Okay. Uh, I like Hazard just in case we want to discard some stuff. So, like, my favorite card here is this one. Okay. <laughs> uh, is there anything else you would think about taking? Uh, that guy. You always want to blow up artifacts and enchantments. Oh, okay. The one underneath it. The Wicker Yeah. Because you always want to, um, you always want to blow up artifacts or enchantments because there's a, quite a bit of powerful enchantments and. In here. So my thought on the coalition relic. Here oh is no, I would take totally right okay. yeah, go. I love that card. So I like CD of Brass, Primal Command, a Red Cat. I feel like City of Brass just lets us cast more things at this point. And we we may have a problem casting things. No, we're only green red. Create a primal command is gonna let us find the threat that we. Yeah, want let's get primal command because it lets us find our cards, our big guys, and it gets us gain seven life. Um, like so, if you're only so like if you're always trying to play to win, right? That, that's awesome. That, that's absolutely your prerogative on how you want to play it. Um, I think approaching a cube draft with that though um, can be difficult. Obviously, there's. He said there, not give you fun. <laughs> he said not give you fun. Um, uh, what do we want here? Lapacoya. Okay. Copper line? Yeah. Overgrown? Either one. I'm thinking overgrown. I wouldn't mind some ramp. You just rather have the lands. I mean, that's me personally. No, I'm not going to fix it. Mm, what are you thinking here? The only card that will probably play is EE. EE. -E. Okay. <clears throat> Nothing really. Yeah, if you ain't first, you last. If you ain't first, you last. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. 
I don't think we're playing anything here anyway. No. If anything at all, I'd probably take the burst. Yep. Splinter twin? But we can we can we can uh sneak attack something in and then put a splinter twin on it. <laughs> I'm taking that. <laughs> You're winning or you're sending? Okay, man. Alright. Zero. So we're not playing the first three cards. The what? First three cards. Of what? The lands? No, we're obviously playing the lands. Oh, that's this is how I figure out what I'm doing. I just go by from this side to that side and figure out what I'm playing or not playing. Oh, really? Yeah. So I completely remove everything from the deck, throw it in there, and then start adding into the deck of the cards I know I'm going to play. And then from the cards I know I'm going to play, then I build the rest of it. Okay. I don't know what you just said, but okay. <laughs> so, like, so what I mean here is I'm doing virtually the same thing you are. Okay. But you're doing but, more work. No, no, I'm not doing more work because I'm adding the cards that I know I want to play no matter what in first. So you're doing more work? No. I'm doing less you're, work. You're clicking more cards. No, no, I'm clicking less cards. Because I and So like Coalition Relax are a card that I know I'm going to play. Sylvan Library is a card I know I want to play. So you're clicking more cards. I don't think so. Yeah, <laughs> you're clicking more cards. Because <laughs> you have to click all, all 40 cards. I'm only out clicking... Like five, ten cards. No, because you have to add basic lands. No. Yeah, but that you that you're gonna do that no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> I drop bows on my opponent's souls, devour everything they thought they know about the world. Is this like Kyle or something? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now that there's more contests, how can I win more cube? I would draft more more control. That's yeah. I found that to be more winning is whenever I draw like counter spells with mm -hmm. like wrath spells. There's a lot of raspos in this cube. So, like, um, anything, like, if you go into white, there's a lot of raspos that you can get. I think there's, like, three or f there's actually, there's four, I think, that I've seen consistently that you can get in this cube as far as raspos. And then counter spells helps you a lot against, because a lot of people just play big spells. That's how they win. So, like, you just wrap their little dudes because nobody cares about them. And then you just counter their, like, couple big spells and then, like, they're done. And then you you just win with by planeswalkers. That's usually how I win. So I added in a bunch of cards that I thought we would be playing. You got an Aeropo? Oh yeah. Should we take out the Ionia because it's only relevant with the show and tell? Maybe. Is this Should of, we even play show and tell thing? We have through the breach and we have sneak attack. So we don't have to, yeah. but casting it wouldn't be too hard because we have mana confluence and we've um, putting in like one blue source to do it. But this would make the deck a lot easier to uh, everything's a little bit more streamlined. Um, we could also cut the shelter because it's only good with the show and tell, and now we're playing the sneak attack breach plan. And we're at 21. We're at 21 right now, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Collective Defiance. It's not unreasonable. Um, just a lot of modes here for us. Uh, Lava Coil. So how many cards are we looking at that we're bringing two? Uh, Slaughter Pack is a clear answer on a lot of things. I don't we're think... not bringing anything because we don't even have any black lines. Oh, yeah. That's true. Who's going to lose? I mean, we have like... <laughs> okay. Um, so Burst Lightning is an option. Lava Coil is an option. I think we should bring in Lava Coil. That's a good card. Okay. Um, Splinter Twin? Irish Shamans like, can give us some value here. It only costs one. We can flip something. We can either, either that or Collective. Is collective it, or defines. we can go Dismissive Pyromancer. Or we can call that card. Okay. Because that's going to let us dig, and then we can shoot something, too. Sure. How many matches do you predict? Uh, do you predict this cube to win? Um, two. 
Yeah, I think we can go. I think we can go two, two out of three with this. Yeah. Oh, I added this one, right? Not the shaman. And that's 23. Yeah. Where did we take over the overgrown battle? You wanted to land. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you wanted the copper land gorge. Yeah. So we got all the green red lands. Um, I don't think we need the mana complex anymore. Okay. I don't. Even, we don't need the misty either because we're not playing. We have no fetches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have no lands except for Bayou. Uh, so like the only thing that it would be relevant for though for having the misty is that we can, uh, um, sell the library stronger, right? If we want to send things away. Sure. So I, I think that's reasonable to cap it as a result. And it's the same thing with the Bloodstain. And then Corsair is going to let us just keep playing lands, gain life. So I think that's pretty good. And then just add basic lands. Uh, they want to add six and six. Okay, sounds good. No changes? Nope. All right. All right, let's see if we're true to going two out of three here. So I tried to draft mono black in this before, but if you don't get the gray merchant, it's kind of awkward. Yeah, I can see that being a big problem. So we just need sneak attack or through the breach to win. So Sylvan will keep it. Seems good. We have removal sure. here. Yeah. We can play Sylvan Library. It seems good. Any hand with Sylvan Library on turn two, we keep. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll hold the Bloodstained Mire in case we do want to ship some stuff away. Yeah. And they played an I. What if they show until we drop in a little locker? That's Pack Rat. Good thing we got this Lava Coil. I was going to say, we should probably kill that, like, right away. Yeah, we, no, we're definitely killing it right now. I don't even know if I want to show the green yet. It doesn't matter. But it doesn't matter, right? No. I'm just worried about somehow they destroy our green source, and mm. it's our only green source in our hand. Not in blue-black? Dude. What? Yo, they playing some crazy <laughs> stuff. <laughs> they destroy our lands in blue-black in this cube. Is Sinkhole the cube? I don't think so. And that's a savage if they play it. They could play it. If we get blown up by Sinkhole, I'd be so mad against you. I'm going to be, think I've I'm seen be that so card, mad against you right now. If they played Sinkhole in, in Q, that's crazy that they would even put that in there. Psych. What a hater. We should have added the bayou. Yeah, I didn't think about that too yeah. just now. I don't want to say nothing because we didn't add Because it, <laughs> <laughs> it would have been another mana for EE uh, for e if we do bring it in. Do we just drop Rixie, all right? Discard a card, draw a card. Yeah. I'm not doing nothing else. What are we discarding, though? It's probably going to get countered. So. See if it even matters. Think about it afterwards. Yeah, so I always do. That's why it's counter my spells. I'm like, oh, I'll figure it out once. once That's it's a it's terrible out. way to think about spells. Yeah. This guy's sneaking hard. All right, what are we discarding? Maybe the flagship? I, would just... I feel like the flagship's the better option here. Because Thrive Tusk against a control deck is going to be super awesome. They have to kill it twice. Yeah. Boom! Okay. We just draw another land. Draw on the plus side, we can just take a forest town and put a bayou in this in when we go to sideboard games. Yeah, we can just do that. Well, I don't think we would, we would want to cast that for a special anyways. I think that let's just discard our whole hand. Discard your hand and draw three, though. Yeah, so we would discard our whole hand and draw three cards. Depending on the situation, it might be worth it. Oh, uh, yeah, I meant like right now. I don't yeah. know if we would have done that one. No, no, right now we wouldn't have done it. Plus, we couldn't have. Anyway, we have to deal damage to them. Jason one pile? And the land? If they want the removal spell, they, that's all they get? Sure. What do they take? 
the swamp. Uh, in they, they put the swamp and Jace in hand. Okay. Drop the uh, sweat kill Jace. They could have a bush. It's a lot of bad. Ding! They went hard on that. Oh, and I think the other thing that you want to have when you're playing the Legacy Cube is that you, I think you want to be somewhat conservative and don't try to just always go for crazy game plans. See, bro, if we would have shipped that Thrag test, bro, we would have got... I'm pretty sure that Shower does uh, three damage to Planeswalkers. It sure does. <laughs> it's fine. We got Thrag Daddy, and then we're going to drop Infernal Titan. Like, so if they, they want to, like... our Slaughter Pactus again. No, that's fine. Then we drop Infernal Titan. Until they snap past her and slur back. Dang! He don't even care none about his planeswalkers. You think of that? Sure, they got all of them. They got all the man in the world anyway. So if they want to have an actual card, they have to take that one. They're probably going to take the Everflowing Chalice in the island. Two questions. What are the best ways to learn Amulet Titan? And um, are you going to see me on Monday? I don't know. Uh, I've been pretty busy because my classes are wrapping up right now, so I, my teacher is pretty crazy. All of a sudden, I um, so I, like my assignments are pretty normal, but uh, they did it for one. Yeah, that's all they could do it for. I mean, I didn't just wait till next year. Uh, so most likely, you won't see me Monday because I have a final exam in two weeks, a final project that's due, a final presentation that's due, and a final paper that's due. Um, so I really need to set time aside for that. And I am, hmm, just in front of second here. Mm -hmm. um, and I need to make sure I'm getting time in for that. And with me traveling to Cleveland this weekend, um, my weekdays, I really have to focus on my homework, unfortunately. Especially if I want to still stream on uh, uh, Wednesday next week. That's rude. Not really. We have a primal command. Yeah, I know. Good still. thing we took that primal command instead of. I don't even know what else it was going to take. I don't know. It's a good thing we took that primal command. It's going to be. Uh, I mean, they can have a counter spell, obviously. Yeah, they have a lot of stuff they can do. Jace. Why would they do both strikes? I don't know. Maybe they're trying to use his alt to kill us. It technically will kill us. Don't you draw like 20 cards or something? Yeah. Just go for the primal. Yeah. I hope they don't have a counter spell. Mm, return a permanent and get a creature. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say maybe we'll swing first. But... Into the 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> Do we have anything that gets rid of enchantments? We don't. We can get relic. I mean, EE up to five. What? Well, we just think if we put in the Bayou, it gives us the black. We can get coalition relic. Tap oh. it, add the counter, and then add another one. Right. <laughs> we could also bring it to here. That's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are you thinking? I'm leaning towards the green warden just for the value here since we're against a control deck. Um, also, Hazrek should be pretty good against it. They should have a really hard time getting rid of that. But they are going to be treachering back our Infernal Titan. Yeah. Sure. Green Warden could let us grab um, the flagship, though, right? Mm hmm. No, it can't. It's a legendary artifact. It's not a creature. Yeah. Okay. It's only. No, this grabs anything. It's any card. Yeah, I, I would say Green Warden. Sure. What is he 
Vincer? Why do you use Vincer or Primal Command? Yeah, I don't really know. Maybe it's because he wants the Infernal Titan? No, man, he could have bounced the Primal Command, so he keeps it. Yeah. I really don't know. I mean, because now he could have swung with it. Yeah, and did a bunch of damage. And killed Aetheric Tusk. <laughs> Awkward. Well, on the plus side, we can just hope... Okay, they're going to bounce that. That's fine. This dude's using a lot of resources. A lot of resources for two damage. <laughs> I really need that. Um, Through um, the breach? No. Sneak attack? We need sneak attack. I think Green Warden's not unreasonable here. Because we could get a LAN. Right, Bloodstain, crack it, and then the following turn, when the Green Warden dies again, throw him the block, we'd be able to go get another land and then uh, cast the Bow Garden. Sure. So. I mean, I don't think we want to cast them anyways, you can't kill nothing. No, we can flash him in though, uh, and then shoot down the Titan and oh. then block it, so. As far as learning Amulet, I tried to play it online, but I found it really annoying because as far as stacking it, um, the stacks don't tell me what lands are being untapped, as far as I could tell. I don't know. I've never played Amulet. I um, so I found that really annoying. Um, I would say that the best thing you're going to have is just... Ooh, that's sweet. Um, the best thing you can do is just to uh, play the deck, watch a couple people play it, and then just get reps in with it. Because there are an insane amount of lines. It is... Um, considered the most difficult deck in modern right now, and so you just need to get games in. You know, I think they say that you have to get uh, re realistically 100 games in with a deck in order to feel as though you are at that level. So, this one, a Leafs player dies. Dies. Um, so, I think that would be the biggest thing is you have to get to that position where you feel you're comfortable with the deck, and that's only going to be done through getting reps in, and it doesn't matter how um, you go about it, just you need to get more and more games in with it. Nope, we kind of really need um sneak attack. Sneak attack. And I mean, that's true of any deck. I've, and you have to get reps in with decks. If you don't get enough reps in the deck, you're not going to understand the sideboarding tactics. You're not going to understand um, what hands to keep and what hands not to keep. So. Hmm. Um, so we, I think, just play the forest, and I mean the mountain and pass here. They go to swing, we'll go down to seven. We drop Ogar and Helkai, go two, two, one, block this, and really hope they don't have a response. Hope they don't have a counter spell. Correct. But I think that's our best option. That is five damage, right? That's it? Yeah, five damage however you want. How far are we away from casting your Oracle? Not so far. Seven more mana. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure Amulet Titan is just a, a deck that you have to play multiple times mm -hmm. to get good at. And you want to go through all of the lines, all of the interactions, and present yourself with different scenarios. So I'm pretty sure yeah, it's a rep deck. Have to think about it. <laughs> nice. We're bringing in that, taking out that, just in case. Yep. Um, beyond that, do you see anything we should be bringing in? Mm. 
What else does the collective defiance do? It can hit op opponents um, or planeswalkers. I don't know if I really want that over anything else, though, but it does let us kill a planeswalker. No. Yeah. No, I think that's it. Okay. Do you want to take anything out for it? No. Okay. And I believe there are a great amount of primers available for the Amulet Titan that should give you a good head start into learning the deck. Um, there usually is for any popular deck out there that you can get your hands on and see what other people are talking about because that's also the best option. I mean, people always think give like crap about like going online and leaning on those kind of resources, but that's how you get better with these kind of decks. You have to lean on those resources. I think it's pretty good, right? Yeah. Um, you have to learn on, uh, lean on those resources because other people are investing the time to learn the deck and then you can also pick up on their knowledge and then incorporate it into your own. We draw a lot of big spells. It's for when we draw that sneak attack. Or uh, the other one. Through the breach. This has to resolve. <laughs> I think they know what's going on now. <laughs> they saw through our plans. You're gonna make a sack? I'm gonna be so sad. Man. What if we had a land in hand opponent? We don't, but <laughs> <laughs> this might be our one loss. Yeah, I think we needed a land there to resolve that sneak attack. I don't we think they had a way to get it off the board. Definitely needed a land right there. Um, what are we discarding here, though? Pink, pink heart. You think so? I was thinking we would keep that because it's the card we can cast. Af after our sneak attack, it's countered. Hellkite. Hellkite seems reasonable to me. Yeah. Arena. Okay, we definitely need a land right now, and we didn't get it. Awkward. Well, we needed two lands in a r at any point here, and we'd be doing great. I feel like we're discarding this guy, Sovereign. Mm -hmm. Our opponent's drawing a lot of cards. That's how they. That's how they beat us, though. I mean, alternatively, it is one of the ways we are going to shoot that Liliana once it's at six, if we go land, land. Uh, I think if we don't draw a land... Here, we can... I think in two turns we're going to be dead. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. To, on, on If we go two lands in a row, we will be able to shoot the Liliana from ulting. If we hold the, the, the Sky Sovereign. Bro, I don't think that's going to resolve. I don't think that's No, it. no, I'm, I'm saying, but that's our best out, though, right? Mm. Sure, if that's what you say. I'm pretty stuck on if we don't draw a land next turn, we lose the game. Yeah, no, I agree. If we don't draw two lands in a row here, we lose. We just need to draw one and hope they don't have a counter spell. Because I think once they, uh, yeah, once they untap again with, uh, you know, on two more cards here what am i planning on playing in cleveland honestly that's what i'm struggling with right now um i was thinking about running bant Eldrazi again but i honestly don't think that's where i need to be um and then uh i am leaning towards right now breach titan or uh tron didn't he subscribe earlier? and no he followed earlier oh. thank you so much for subscribing phoenix crest much appreciated um I think we're discarding the Pia. Chase. Is he going to the top part of our library? Yeah, he sure is. 
No. He says he doesn't even care about what you're telling me. <laughs> Think about I don't care what you're doing over there. No, I mean, Adnos is actually a good deck right now. I mean, it's in a solid spot, so. Do we just Blood Braid here? Try to hit one of their Planeswalkers? Or try to, like, we can actually resolve the Sneak Attack right I now. I think we should try to resolve the Sneak Attack, yeah. Because I think the only way they have the way to get rid of it is by bouncing it, but I don't... I didn't see any bounce spells in their first first um, set of cards. Yeah, it is a pretty terrible Grixis oh, Death did, Shadow matchup. Huh? They, they, they have Vincer. Sorry, I forgot. Well, that's awkward. Well, if we draw another land, we, if they play Vincer and they draw another, and we draw another land, we can cast it again because they're both their blue mans will be out. Yeah, they have to do it right now. Yep. So. Sneak attack and Emrakul win. Oh yeah, they're at fifteen. I'm not sure how. Oh, the oh, first. Right yeah. Like Tron's the deck that I'm most comfortable with playing, but and it has still been putting up some numbers. It's getting decent percentages, but <laughs> I can see you in the camera. <laughs> um, Blood Rain? No, Sky Sovereign. Yeah, Sky Sovereign. That seems like a Vencer. Come on, opponent, what you got? I mean, he did do half of his deck already. Over half. And he's seen the top two cards. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong, Tron is the devil. Are the uh, are the are the new mole new mole gonna be active? Oh, we it, it happened. We got it. We, it's our turn. <laughs> <laughs> Do we trash it on first? See what they respond with? Blow up all their blue sources? No, because they can just float it. No, and then we go to pre, uh, beginning of combat and then a Merkle. Sure. Yeah, I like that. Could we lose anyway? Once they have just black mana? Well, they can't kill Emrakul that way. Right, I'm thinking... There's no, there's no sack, sack of creature. Well, we well there, be there would be, but we can just put in tra We have Tarasin in play, and then we can also put Bloodbraid into play. Does do the creature... They can't, can they block Emrakul? No, no, because uh, he, they're, 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 he has flying, and then those creatures are on the ground. So, let's put Tarasin on. Oops. Well, Pact of Negation won't do anything because we're just putting it right into play. Oh, is Emrakul a she? It's good to know. It is on my logo, after all. <laughs> <laughs> you should you should click no. <laughs> so <it is> <laughs> um. Okay. So. Beginning of combat. Venser. Sure. Let's see what they want of Venser. We just put an Emrakul now, right? Mm hmm. And that should be game. Do we also want to put in Blood Raid? Nah. I don't think there's too much confusion. No. Oh. Is where our opponent scoops? Just. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we're working hard today. Okay. Uh, still no changes.
This seems okay. Yeah. Everything's castable. We have three lands again. Hopefully we can keep everything on pace. Well, you... <laughs> the Wanderers, the Emrakul, I saw that. That was... <laughs> That's so funny. Our opponent's really good at drawing cards, I gotta say. Oh, right through the breach. Yeah. We just need to add some mana now. Overall, we just need to add mana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna pack rat. I mean, we're gonna... Hmm. Lava Coil, the Pack Rat. And then just beat them for two. At least we can draw and discard with that guy. We can, and that'll be pretty good. You know, unfortunately, it takes up our one red source, but that's fine. Party draw? <laughs> I think yes! it had to, because otherwise our creature would have died. Well, that's sweet. It's a land. Boom! Um, Swing into Jace? Yeah. Because we can discard and draw with that if we want. We want to. Do we want to? The question is, what do we discard? Probably the Primal Command. Because if we threw the Breach Emrakul, we just automatically win, anyways. That's reasonable. There's the land. Oh, no, we don't. Yeah, we, we don't win. Awkward. Okay. Um, we can run out Thrag Tusk here. I like that. It's that or play Corsair and hold up um, the mana for this to shoot down. Well, we have to sacrifice it. And it costs more than that. Okay. Yeah, I think we just play Thrag, Thrag Tusk. Yep. Why is it the wrong art? Isn't that the original art? We're we swinging. Yeah, we're swinging at Jace here, I think, right? Because we have enough mana now to cast everything in our hand. Yeah. And uh, if they block with Glenn Lange, we're happy about that. Yeah. And if we do this, they, we're forced to party draw again. Yep. Yeah. The other art does have Emrakul on it. I appreciate the fact that they recognize what it's used for. Ow. Oh. Didn't you want to keep Jace on board? They figured it was just going to die anyway. I mean, they gave us, all, they gave us two cards. That's all we care about. Just swing, right? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Thinking we can play Corsair, play the land, get the life, and then play Sylvan Library. I don't think we play Sylvan Library. No? Mm -mm. I think you want to hope we draw another land so we can play Sylvan Library and they counter it, and then we can play Arm or Through the Breach. Because I think we can shoot down it. If we if we just play Sylvan Library, it'll take a counter, and then we can. Oh no, we just reach swing with it. Um, so you don't. So you just want to play Corsair here? I like my Corsair. Just Corsair. Yep. Because we can play Titan and just shoot this down too. We could have been okay. Maybe we'll do that next turn. Because they're in a pretty bad spot with just our board anyway. I mean, now we can play. I mean, I guess if you want to play Sylvan Library now, but. Yeah, I think this is reasonable. I 
Have you ever encountered while they have a Glen Alondra on board? That's pretty funny. <laughs> Cast with buyback? Yee! Oh, that's savage. Discarding an island and thirst for knowledge? Like, why wouldn't you just Glen Alondra? Why wouldn't you block and then do that so you can kill two guys? Yeah, I don't, I'm so confused by them right now. This they could they could have got great value, and right now they're just on the swing for two plan. Let's just say if a creature died this turn, because you could have counter that. Why did he even kill that if he just? Oh my gosh, I'm so confused. This dude. Maybe they just withdrew the damnation. You're just infernal here, right? Shoot it for one. Shoot the rest of them. Yeah. Hopefully they don't have the Supreme Will. If they do, that's just rude. No, they have oh, they have to do that. That's still fine. We're drawing the counters out. They're down to just one creature. We're two away from this. It's a good creature, though. Oh my gosh. You gotta draw all these cards because you keep... <laughs> like, negative 2 1 for himself. That's okay. Sweet. What do you want to bring back? Probably the Inferno. Just go to town again next turn. They know about the Emrakul, but they don't know about the Thither Rage, right? Nope. They know about the Hellkite too. Yeah. And the Inferno. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jace. Minus two. Luckily, they can't cast it unless that's a land in hand. Even if they can, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yep. It kind of matters. I assume they took the treasury. Yep. Yeah. Well, I think they know that we're going to play um, for an Titan next turn. Why would they attack then? Because we're about to attack them, and then Inferno win. Maybe they play it on Connor in it. That's fine. Should we kill a the Jace then? I think they'd be happy if we killed a Jace. Should uh, maybe cast an Inferno Titan first? No, because now they have Cryptic, they get insane value. They. Oh, well, I guess. I think we only lose this game through letting them outvalue us. Yep. If it goes back to their turn, though, the treachery is going to blow us out. Um. It, I mean, treachery with Jace is a uh, is a lot of value. Let's go, Jace. Yep. What? Like, we just Inferno here, right? Kill their Galan Alondra, kill their Jace. Yeah. Next turn, just, um... And then we threw the Breach next turn to win. Hopefully. Like, they knew we had that. How would you make that play? What other options do they have? Let it die. And then do what? Vents are the Infernal Titan. But they want to steal it. And that's fine. I think that was their plan overall, was to steal it. Okay.
if we draw a land here, do we do we still do the breach or do we Hellkite on their turn? Irrelevant ninja land. <clears throat> yeah, it was after we attacked. You can just go for the breach. Might as well, dude. If we go for the breach, we we die. If they have anything. Well, if they have a Congress boy, anyways, we're still dead. <laughs> so it doesn't matter, anyways. True <laughs> that. <laughs> huh? Huh? Are you out of cards, opponent? You ready to use your Venser? I'm gonna make a sack of creature and instant speed watch. I don't even know how. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think if there is one. I know there's the chainers thing, but I think those are that's, still sorcery. I think that's sorcery. They could just cryptic. Do they have another blue source? Because that's not enough mana. No, it's not. I guess they, maybe they just draw a card. Yeah, they just want to draw a card. That's the cheapest thing on the field to bounce. So it is. Well, I wonder what was our out? That's not a bad one. Yeah. All right. It's good for us. <laughs> I thought we were about to lose that. Yeah, I definitely thought we were going to lose. They had such a good... I was like, well, counter spells is not very good. For I us. honestly think they lost that because they outvalued themselves. They, they were just burning their own spells on everything we were sending their way for no reason. Yeah, they're doing... That's how you play control bad. Yeah. Just because you can cast the spell doesn't mean you should. Yeah. The common draw so many cards, it's okay. Yeah, that is the luck. They weren't just drawing a ton, right? They were drawing a ton. They, they did not care what they were doing, because they were just like, I'm going to draw cards, I'm going to draw more cards. Yeah. I always have answers. Yeah. Uh, this is good. Turn one, search. And we're on the draw, though. But still good. And then we can run out of dismissive Pyromancer next turn. Yeah. Then our land will come in. Hopefully we'll draw another land, so we're going to play P and Connect. P and well, as long as we can draw one land here, we'll be able to uh, draw P and, uh, or Hazard on turn three, which will be pretty yeah. sweet. If not, we can Rix. I think you'd rather play your peon. Because we won't better swing with Hazorat anyways. Yeah, that's fair. But I do love me a Hazorat. It's more oh. of a reason why you should play the red white deck. It plays Hazorat in it. It plays, it plays two Hazorats. I could put it together. I have to play it like a bunch of reps right now. It's pretty simple. But. Yeah. You play just sideboard cards. Yeah, I mean, like you, the the deck's pretty simple to play. Like it's not hard to play. You just kind of tune it to how you like it. So what am I even missing out of it, right? Oh, you mean in real life? Yeah. You, you have in Harry's. Uh, it runs I, in the Harry's. I know someone that does. Yeah. Hello, Phoenix Crest. Um, uh, what else does it run? I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of that you might not have. Do you think it's worth playing and actually at a big tournament like that? If I had to, if yeah, if I was going to Cleveland, that's what I would play probably. That's the only thing I play test, play tested in the last month that I consistently go. That I went four one. You go pretty just, regularly four yeah, one, don't you? It's pretty regular. And then some, like when I lose. It's it's weird because the decks that I lose to is decks that I should be, but I just I just lose somehow randomly. You do it's like that what stupid... I did with Vanifar and draw twelve lands. No, it's that that um, modular deck. Oh, a hard affinity. Yeah. The plus side is hard affinities on the down tick, affinities on the up tick. Yeah. Like I I have a good matchup against the hardened skills. It's just sometimes they have some really good draws where I die at the infect lane. I've been wanting to play that deck too. That deck seems pretty sweet. The hard affinity? Yeah, I just can't yeah. see myself playing dorky cards. What is our pony doing over here? 
Uh, currently, they've played three planes. So, really solid start for them. Can we just play Relic? Relic wouldn't be bad, but getting up P and, and Kieran Alire will allow us to put a sure, really sure. strong pressure on the sure, board, too. Sure, sure, sure. I hate that card. <laughs> Weird modern deck. Ah, we swapped over to uh, this this really sweet green red value deck. Is that on your phone or something? It's probably my phone. Yeah, I've got a ton. Of oh, wait. What is this? We play a one one on turn four. What is this guy doing? Like, they're not doing anything. Do we just Primal Command their land back to the top of their deck? Is that even reasonable? And go get a... Go get Infernal Titan? Yeah. But we couldn't cast it, though. It's okay. That... That's, I guess let's see what they do first. They can't be on mono white weenies. They kept a really weird hand, right? Mono white mid range. It's kind of weird that they wouldn't have a three drop though. Yeah, very weird they didn't have a three drop if they're on a mid rangey deck. Okay. So I don't think it's unreasonable for us to bring like a burst lightning here. Sure. Um, possibly the collective defiance. Just take out some creatures. Sure. Because I have a feeling they're on a more aggressive deck. They just we just didn't see it, or they're on a mid range deck and having the removals can be solid. Makes sense. Um, what do you think about taking out though? We don't need to rest it on. Can't blow up creatures. It's probably the worst of our big spells. I just got bits. Is that what that is? Is that how this works? <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I got bits. I gotta put something for the bits, don't I? For you guys to get. Is that how this works? Um, what other thing can we cut? Probably Hazrat? Or should we keep it because it's indestructible? We should keep it because it's indestructible. Okay. Um, maybe take out... Everything is so good. I feel like we could just take out one of our bombs but i like all of them that's what I said, they're all pretty good um i would maybe take out coalition relic yeah because i don't think we really need to ramp our cards are just that good yeah that's fair yeah. maybe what no i like search Well, either way, I appreciate the bits. Can you email me that link? Which one? Right there. Email it to you? Yeah. It's on my Facebook right now. Do we? Now I gotta search you up in my um. I don't even know your first name. You don't know my first name? I feel so offended right now. <laughs> he played the same card. <laughs> well, hey, he has green mana. Maybe that's why he can uh, play anything. Uh, his handle's probably just full of green. Yeah. Do we drop Oracle Moldiah here on in this next turn? 
and then just try to get some lands going, and then if we can, then we can sneak attack. Because I don't think just sneak attacking right here is worth it. What? You can't cast sneak attack right now anyways. What are you talking about? No, no, we're going to get search. Oh, we are? Mm-hmm. Um, I think we just put Oracle. Don't we? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We just yeah. play Oracle here, try to sift through some lands. If we hit yeah. another land on top, it's great. Absolutely. And then we can possibly just get into the sneak attack and do some business. Yeah, because we don't we don't want to put it out there so they can blow it up. That we, should be the banner for when we crush opponents. What? You just got quanged. <laughs> Wasn't there a dude that used to like give out like candy when he beat them in a tournament? Yeah, I think so. He was pretty good. I can't remember his name. I don't know if something, if we don't do something, <laughs> <laughs> I have to get doodled on my. Oh, and we get a land? So we're guaranteed to uh, have five mana next turn? Don't we just kill that guy? I think we just kill that guy, bro. I don't think you want to get hit. No, no, he can pay for life and make it indestructible. Ding! That's crazy, bro. So, um. There's nothing we can do about that. Right. That's what I'm saying. I think we just did the Oracle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because then what we can do here is um, Hour of Devastation if necessary next turn. Yeah. We can just get rid of the Collective. At this point, we don't need it. Yeah, Hour... We have to cast that Hour next turn anyways. Because uh, we can't even Hellkite. Because he won't even kill it. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep playing stuff. Yeah, yeah play one more. Play something else. I don't know what this card does. It's pretty good. I like it. I had three mana? Oh, that's dope. Yeah. And it becomes like a 3-5 or something like that. We're going to have to discard the collective right as we go over here. Well, because all of the cards are phenomenal. Hopefully you hit two lands at the top here for, 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 before our guy goes away. Hopefully they still pay two life. Ooh! This this is gonna be so, so good. much value. And we got an Emrakul on top. All right, no 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 crazy value here, but what do you mean? We're about to kill all our guys. I wanted two more lands. <laughs> <laughs> we win next turn. <laughs> but we could have had two more lands. They're gonna have no permanence. They're gonna have permanence. They're gonna be a five. When we Emrakul them, but they're no. gonna have no permanence because oh. they got to sack all their lands. I guess maybe they'll still pay. I'm hoping they'll pay for four life here. <laughs> Well, they'll still be at one. I know. Maybe we should have swung first. Look at you. We would have got that two damage in. <laughs> for the paying for life. They would have paid. Oh. I was going to say, they would have paid for life. You would have hit them for that too. Then they would have been like, yo. What just happened? Sure. We don't lose that. Man, they're gonna still have permanence on the battlefield now. They'll have a Thrag Tusk in play. No, I think they're gonna sack that. They'll probably just leave one land in play. Okay. Like, why would you not do the Thrag Tusk and swing for five? What? If they leave the Thrag Tusk, they can swing at us for five. What does that mean? I'm saying out of the options of oh, keeping yeah, a land yeah. or keeping the Thrag Tusk, why would you not keep the Thrag Tusk and swing for five? Yeah, they should have paid for. Real men pay for. <laughs> Does bits not count as donation? Yes. How come he didn't show up as the top donator? Because you probably put it as donate, not what you call. Mm. Not. I think it's a it's a different entity. I think it's like online. Because I, right. I think when it does donate, it um it's, it means just like you know. Actually, their board's still pretty decent. Not really. We win. It's still decent for <laughs> getting Emrakul, Dewey. I mean. <laughs>
We're gonna sneak attack into Strag Tusk. Because we can. Did he swing? Yeah. Wow! Who's <laughs> <It was> ambitious? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've met our quota. We're at the 2 no. <laughs> Maybe this is a 3 0 deck. Maybe sneak attack is just that good. Oh, you use the cheer. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, yeah. I guess I forgot how strong a uh, sneak attack uh, and pack two, or pack one, pick two is. Sneak attack's like the best card ever. There's a reason I played that in my EDH deck. Well, you can, I guess when you just, you can just build around it. Should I move this logo all the way to the bottom here? That way it's cleaner. You should uh, make that go from up to that up. The problem with this is I, like if I do that, it does this as well. I gotta uh, un I have to like unlock it or something like that. I got I gotta learn how to use this program a little bit more, because uh, there are a bunch of adjustments I want to do. Tis by. We got the cards. We're we keeping need. it. <laughs> we just need the big guys now. This is everything we'd ever want. <gasps> Okay. Yeah, I gotta get a, like a what is it, a PNG file in order to make the logo transparent. But uh, I got that for free um, from my friend, and uh, so that's pretty yeah. solid. I gotta actually compensate him a little bit for that because he did me a really big solid creating that for me. Um, I was using OBS, but Streamlabs has a lot of pre-made um, pre themes that I could tap into, so that's why I decided to go that route, but it may be worth it for me to just go back to OBS, um, but this, just because it's a little, like, a little bit more work, but I think there's a lot of great stuff with it. Uh, they're ramping a ton. Mm-hmm. But they get a turn uh, three, four, four drop Planeswalker. Mm-hmm. Hopefully it's not Nahiri and they start ticking up, otherwise we lose. But I am more than happy to accept any kind of help at all with this and get it better set up for everyone, so. I do know one thing weird about your, your um, I don't know if, if how you can change it, but yeah, like your stream only shows in 1080p. Oh, really? Yeah. So like if you have, because I know one thing, like if I'm watching it on my phone and I don't have very good service, I can't watch your stream. Because my internet service isn't very good. Oh, because I can't drop the quality down. Yeah, so like the quality, it, it was just... Because I, for some reason I, could, I kept like, trying to figure out why I couldn't watch your stream on my phone, but I could mm -hmm. watch it on the thing, and it, that's the reason why. Because okay. the... Because um, I noticed like I can't watch yours, but I could watch Star Cities. Okay, and I was so like, well, I gotta weird. be able to drop the quality. Um, or have the option. Or allow people to have the option to yep. drop the quality. I gotta get some kind of bits tracker for sure. No, I do, that's the top donation. Um, what did he play? Did he? Oh, it's his, this is his turn. Wait, what did he play last turn? He just uh, played out the coalition relic, right? No, and no. then he untapped. He yeah, untapped. He untapped. So that's a Nicole Okay, so that's, that's a, a Nicole cool. And they took our courser. Then we lose, right? We lose. Because we literally can't go above. Like, they just keep taking our lands. Yep. That's, like, really rude. Oh, wait. No, we don't lose. We run out of sneak attack right now. He blows it up. Yes, that's fine. But then we come through the breach and see if we win. But we can't kill it. You know, it takes up, like, three, doesn't it? Yeah, no, no. I'm saying we can just get, like... Um, a bull garden hell kite would kill it. A Emrakul can swing at sure. it. Like that's the only outline I see. No, we can't. He has a negate. <laughs> <laughs> now you just saw when we have sneak attack. Okay, so I have a, I can get a tip jar widget, so that'd be cool. That way I can show a little animation with that. I know people like that stuff. This is why you go five color. 
<laughs> this I'm literally playing against you right now because this is what you would do. Maybe he taps um, the island in the coalescent relic. We really need him to tap out. We really need to draw a big spell next turn. <laughs> There's one. Wait, how did you just cast that with no blue? Ah, yeah. The cheers. I have animations. <laughs> did you just add that? Huh? That's a part of this template. That's why I switched to it. Oh, we didn't draw anything. We're dead. I guess we can play Thrag Tusk and pass it. Bro, if you don't scoop. <laughs> Like, no, I mean, like, I think that's, like, he would have to gain control of it, dropping it down to a uh, four. <laughs> and then what are we doing? I'm telling you, if we draw, like, he a has in the gate. We saw it on top of his deck. <sighs> You're such a hater. All right. How do we combat this nonsense? I think we want to bring a collective defiance. Sure. Over the lava coil. Because we saw him just kind of ramping. Yep. I don't think anything else really matters. Mm -mm. So we just got to hope he doesn't ramp like that. Yeah, that hand was crazy good. That was a, what, turn five, um, turn five nickel bolus? Turn four. Right? No, turn turn two he played Grim Lava Mance. And then and the Coalition Coalition Relic, Relic, like, turn Yeah, that was a turn four nickel. Okay, I like that deck. Okay, so this hand, uh, we can draw and discard I mean discard and draw a card. Yeah, we keep this hand. Okay. Yeah. I think because we want more potential land drops, we just go play uh, the mountain here. Mm -hmm. And we'll try to just uh, go next turn. Yep. Feel like we want to discard the Dragon Lord. Possibly, they can hit like the Planeswalker. Yep. Probably want to get rid of the Primal Command. We're very far off from casting it. Yeah. Okay. We're doing good. Got got a mountain. Step one. More. one. Step one. Uh, <sighs> step two. This is this is rough. This is rough. You see all those beautiful lands he's playing, bro? <laughs> like this guy is like. This is this is me over here. This is a re special. This is a re special. Is Tiger, aka. Need to draw a land right here. The blooming marsh. This guy right here. We tap out. We tap out. We tap out. We just, we don't need, we just need him to tap the blue land. We don't care if he taps out. Tap the dark light. Do it. Do it. Yes. Well, I mean, he can play an island shh, here. Shh. Let me dream. Let me dream. Yes. Bro, and he got a stop in there. Bro, this guy has all the lands. We need to hit a land. Oh my gosh, we missed. We have all our top in. We're just missing Inferno Titan. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say we're missing it yet. Oh my gosh. I feel like we're about to stay true to our word and go two, two out of three. But how did he get all these good lands? That's what I'm saying. Because he p took them first. Oh, this guy's crazy. Then he plays cards like Explore in a five color deck. He's like, ramp? No problem. I'll always have the lands. <laughs> Next draw is going to be Inferno Time Watch. I don't know what actual cards does he have besides Nickel Bolas. Yeah, they literally just really drank swells. I'm about to find out right now. Oh, bro, that's the best card in this cube. I love that card. Oh, so they get our card? Yes. That's so good. Yep. And it exiles it. They don't, yeah, and it exiles it, so. Oh, it's just one permanent though, right? But still, that's sweet. Yeah. 
Like you exile a planeswalker and it's you like get an that. EDH, is that an EDH card? It has I, to be, right? I think so, yeah, because you can't put it on the modern. I like that. I was like, is this from a new set or something? This card's crazy. No. But it has effects like each other, um, each other player. Each player other than this controller is doing something that's usually like EDH or like conspiracy. We got a hostage taker. It's kind of weird to use that on that card. I think he just wants it a threat. Commander 19. Okay, okay. Okay, opponent. Have nothing, and we win. This is great. I mean, he's playing five colors. The tap this mana kind of fast there. They're still good if we draw a line, though. I know. But still, I wanted to sneak attack. That's all I want to do. <laughs> It's like my favorite thing in the world, okay? That was a good turn for him. Really good Ordering turn. search and a double code ring. All the games we lost because we got Manus Crew. Uh-huh. Probably should have kept in that coalition or like. <laughs> <laughs> what what do we take for it? We brought in the collective defiance. Yeah, we didn't draw those cards anyways. Okay. I'm just gonna hard guess. <laughs> the Cabal of I mean, straight. They actually have the mana already. Five, six, seven, they're well, I guess they're one away. <laughs> <laughs> oh we need to draw Landis turn to our devastation them. Bro, this guy is playing. Like this is your dream yes. deck. This is like besides Hostage Taker. Hostage Taker sweet. I wouldn't play that card. But oh. besides that card, everything in there is, is looking pretty sweet. We just hour up here, right? Does that hit Planeswalkers too? Yeah. It's non bolus Planeswalker. That's pretty sweet, bro. Let's see if this resolves. It's pretty sweet. Don't negate it, opponent. Don't negate it. It's pretty legit. Yeah, I love Hostage Taker. That card's so strong. Oh my gosh. I don't think our opponent even cares either. I think they're just like casting spells to cast spells. <laughs> they could have had a flipped search for his Kanto. What are they doing? <laughs> oh. Mm, no, wait, that's our creature. That's a token. Never mind. Now they're going to have a flipped. Next turn, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter. They're going to play Nickel Bullets and it doesn't blow up our forest. They got Fetzlands with Sacred Fudge? Bro, this guy right here. This guy's doing it big. He has like a little relevant target, too, like Godless Shine. Stomping Ground? Uh huh. This guy does it all. You see that as Johnny out here, bro? Uh huh. This boy is crazy. But all non land permanent cards. This guy's crazy. What do you get? Yeah, it's like an upgraded summoning egg. Three lands. So they just have lands in hand? I don't think he gets it. Oh, no, it puts it in the bottom. Puts it in the bottom. I was going to say, it says non land. So we can run out Sky This dude ain't even swinging with that either. <laughs> he does not care. Um, we can run out Sky Sovereign, shoot Chefri, and then next turn play Hazret and attack it. No, we can't. Hazret, you have to have one. No, no, no. Sky Sovereign tapping down Hazret. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, five color walkers. This is what I like. Now we should have saved that hour of devastation thinking about it. No, if we knew that, you know. But no, we had to do it. We had to cast. Yeah. Tefri's too strong. It would have been good right there. I search for Scott to can find them. Planeswalkers too. Yep. So good. 
Yep. The problem is they can, I mean, the good thing is they can only search, or they can search, um, basically they can find any card, all the cards they want in their deck. Mm -hmm. They're going to go through, they're going to go through half their deck right now and find what they want, because of Tefri. Half? Because they're going to search, it's going oh, to do four, again. and then it's going to untap, and they're going to get to do it again. Oh my gosh. So next turn you're going to get Nicol Bolas. It's a 50% chance. That's stupid. Uh, he's tapping a Nicol Bolas, man. You're about to get Nicol Bolas right now. That looks like Nicol Bolas, man. That is Nicol Bolas, man. Oh, no, he's triple black. And no, it's only two black, right? Yeah, it's two black. I think that's Nicol Bolas. That's Nicol Bolas, man. It's eight mana? Hmm? Type in this thing, um, send me your list. <laughs> huh? Type in the chat, send me your list. <laughs> <laughs> I was joking. Oh. <laughs> I did it. You said to do it. Uh, Hazret learning to fly a boat. That's, that's what gods do, man. Hazret is on a boat. I'm on a boat, man. There you go. Got the ooze in hand. And two unknowns. That's a really weird card to play in that day. The ooze? Yeah. So we live the two old dream. Yeah, I think this is over. Yeah, there's no way to come back from this. Unless you had like planner cleansing. Huh? Unless you had planner cleansing. It would be a game still. But here we play Hazard, they take it. Um, so it doesn't even swing or do anything. Right, so. Alright, let's call it there. I think this is this is over. Got our money back. Alright guys, thank you so much for joining.